Green and Black Buddy. How are you today, girl? Sounds good to me. Preferably will not take out your tail lights. Quite yet. I am the third eldest of nine kids. I'm 23. My older brother is 27. My sister is 25. So we're really starting to get older now. We're starting to get uh, vehicles. There's currently five cars parked around our house and there is not enough parking room for them, trust me. So that's a bit of debate at the minute. And I have given Black Betty a designated parking place way tucked in around the back of the house. My brother parked there for the first time ever yesterday. I was like, are you serious, man? I reckon he was just actually joking, but I didn't find it funny. So for today's video, I plan to take you through what's inside the lambing box and what essential equipment and products that we have set up and ready to go. But before I do anything, first I've got to feed the rams. Letting go, yeah, it isn't easy. Too hard, slowly breaking. Living the highs and lows, I'm keeping busy. Don't know if we were saving. Are we meant to be or are we second guessing? Would you stay with me if the world was ending? is the ram's fed so i'm gonna go through what i have already in the box well, i don't usually use veterinary gloves vets do recommend that you should so i'm not going to tell you what to do do what your vet says but we don't use them we just wash our hands well and use the lubricant gel we've got some foot stuff and foot pairs in there just if we ever are lambing a sheep and we realize she has a sore foot or something we look after her. stomach tube for a lamb and a syringe very handy with a weak lamb. Here's colostrum powder, which I will probably leave at the house because you can't mix it up in the middle of a field and anything that's sick, we usually will bring home anyway. Here are prolapse spoons. Some people don't like them. They say they cause infection. They sometimes can, but the thing with harnesses, a lot of them, they cannot lamb while they have the harness in. Whereas with these, most of them will lamb with the prolapse spoon in. We use them and baling twine to wrap it around the yo. I will show you later on in videos when we do get a prolapse how we fasten them onto the sheep. Something kind of uh, 
a new that was gifted to me from Agri Health in a lovely lambing gift box was fox repellent oil for lambs. Now this could come in use, especially one field I know there will be uh, foxes about. Some of the neighbours have already said that they've had issue with foxes. So for that field, and it's usually that field every year too, it's only down the road from the house, we do have issue with foxes. So I think any newborn lambs or lambs born within that day, we're going to stick a bit of this oil on them. And hopefully that might deter the foxes. Basically the smell deters the fox and makes him decide not to eat him. Also got some antibiotic just to treat any infections. Any bad foot rot as well. Got some syringes in there, fresh syringes. Oh, you might be wondering what this yellow thing is. This is something that was also gifted to me from AgriHealth, which I have not got a chance to use yet. One second there. So you wrap this thing in behind the lamb's head, sit their jaw on top of that, I think, and then you pull that handle and it helps you get his head straightened out and out. So it might be something I'll try this year. But uh, I definitely would be an advocate for using ropes and uh, things to get a hold of their legs, say, especially for a big lamb or he keeps turning his head back. So I have a small list of things that I need to get. I need to get iodine spray to spray any lambs that are coming indoors, say sick lambs or that. We lamb everything outdoors, but there will be a few that will come in into the lambing pens for some TLC. So they will need a spray of iodine on their navel to prevent things like joint ill and it helps the navel to dry up quickly and stop any infection getting in. I also need to get more gel. We haven't lambed any sheep of our own yet, except for that one black yo who lamb by herself. But we've used this much gel just helping out neighbours. A lot of neighbours would ask for a bit of help and we're happy to do it. What I also need to get is Xanatol, which was made by Chanel. It is a really high sugary glucose uh, liquid that you use to treat a pregnancy toxemia or twin lamb disease in yos. We don't get too much twin lamb disease because we lamb all outdoors and we also have the lick bucket so that helps keep energy up. So we have not had any of that um, in a good while, but in saying that, some of the neighbours sometimes do get pregnancy toxemia with yos that are indoors. But also, sometimes we have a yo, maybe she has three lambs or she has a tough lambing and she just looks a little weak in herself and we're worried about her. It's no harm to give her a syringe or two of the sugary glucose. It'll help get her energy levels up. I also even give it to sometimes a very small bit to a very weak lamb. Just get them bit of a sugar rush it's kind of like a can of coke just gets them up and moving so that is useful stuff to have around so i'm going to run to the shop and get those three things now all right so i'm back small pot of shanatol we shouldn't need too much of it fingers crossed big pot of gel we'll probably run out before the season ends but we'll take it as we go this is foradine foradine they didn't have any of the normal iodine, but it, it's basically povidone iodine, 10%. So that'll do for spraying navels. And then finally, I also got a few rings for my pet lambs because they still are not tailed. I know, I'm ridiculous. But they will get tailed today, so. So that is all of the lamb and supplies got. If you think I'm missing anything, comment down below and I will get it. Very happy. We do also have two prolapse harnesses, so we will use them um, probably on any sheep that we bring home and we're gonna actually be able to watch and take it off for when, for when she's lambing. But also sometimes yos do prolapse after lambing too. It's usually due to infection when it's after lambing. But any of them, we will put the harness on because it's a bit handier to leave that on her. And also if it's an infection, you don't wanna be putting in a spoon and just making the whole thing worse. So that's the plan. What I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to take you looking at some sheep. We're going to go look at the twins. They're the ones that you've seen at the end of the last video. Strolling off into the lush green fields. Um, so we're going to go check on them and see where they are since we let them off. You'll also be able to see the black yo that had a lamb. Our first lamb. How special. Okay, let's go. There she is, the beauty. So guys, I am up here at the farm 
where all the twins and a couple of singles also are. Just gonna have a look around and make sure they're all okay. Few moments later. Something doesn't look good. She's either in a very deep sleep or she's gone. No, she's gone. Her head's back. Oh, you're right. Hello, wakey wakey. You gave me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, you little bugger. The ultimate gamble in sheep farming. The game, dead or alive. We all know it. You see a sheep lying. 100% sure they're dead and as you approach them you have to guess whether they're alive or dead. It's kind of a dark game but it's how we cope with these animals that like to get sick and die suddenly on us. That's sheep for you. Just keep going. There are some new sheep there with the blue on them that we bought in the mart. They'd come in from a fire street and then there's a few of the rescues over there. They all stay away from the rest of the flock. Just they, they know their comrades, as we say. They know each other, so they stick around together. They're not really blended in with our own sheep yet. That's pretty normal, though. It was really dry there for at least a week anyway. But we had some bad rain there now recently. Dad said he drove the Jeep right through this farm only the other day. Doubt he'd do it now, to be honest. We just had a few bad days of rain there now after a dry spell. Everything's sopping wet again. They all ran off there around the corner. I was saying on my Instagram story, the sheep aren't that used of people walking through the field quite yet. Because we've only started because they're approaching lambing now. They all kind of tend to bunch up and run to the other side of the field. Just they're not used to people quite yet. And they kind of spook whenever they see us. But when we start coming here every day as they start lambing, they'll get used to us and they'll just keep grazing, they won't pass any heed and they realise that we don't mean them any harm. As you can see, they're not quite used to it yet, they've all disappeared. But we'll get there, just have to build that trust, you know. When sheep are in groups together, you know they're okay. When sheep are alone, you know there's something wrong. What we're looking out for is things like abortion or lambing prematurely, or as dad says, before the time. So just lambing before they were supposed to. Lots of things can cause this. It can be caused by infection, but also maybe injury or sickness of the oak. We're also keeping an eye out for vaginal prolapse. That is common enough, particularly with these twins or sheep that are over fat or too fed. It's important to get that in before the old lamb, so that's why we have them prolapse spoons or, or a harness. Also, there's a chance of them getting an infection, so you have to look after that too. It's getting late, wanna fade away into the ocean waves. I don't wanna stay carrying this way. The rain came there now. It's miserable enough. Would you like to see our only lamb so far? So there's three rescues here and another yo of ours that the one that has pink eye, do you remember? She was blind and I caught her in the field. Uh, one of the rescues, the black one, that's her wee lamb. That's the blind one standing in the way. He's happy and healthy, a couple of days old at this stage. It's great to see. Well everyone, that is it for today's video. It was fairly short, but uh, just I thought I'd give you a quick look on what's inside the lambing box. I hope you found it useful. Hopefully we'll have some lambs very shortly. For my next video, I will be having a look at the mountain yews, and then I'm going to also another video rope dad in for a little interview.
because a lot of people have been wanting to know who the boss man is, which is my father. And I think he deserves a little video, but if I can just convince him to sit in front of the camera, we'll see. Dad watches all of my videos. So dad, you're up next. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and join the flock. How's that sound? Until next time, guys, I'll see you. Thank you very much for watching. All right, Betty, home time.